If you've watched my channel for a while, you will know that I love using my Apple Watch every day. It's a product that makes life easier by adding functionality and convenience. However, there is one problem, and that has to do with the durability of the display. After just a few months of use, my SE2 and even Series 8 already show hairline scratches on the display. This is not good, so today I want to find a solution. Now, there are many ways uh, to protect the display on your Apple Watch, uh, so after some research, I narrowed this down into the five main categories and ordered one of each to see which of these is and which of these are not worth your money. Believe me, uh, after testing all of them, I can tell you that some really are, and others, well, they're really not. All of these screen protectors are bought from Amazon, and I will leave all the purchase links to the best match for your region in the video description. But before we start, I am doing a giveaway on this brand new Apple Watch Series 8 in Midnight. Uh, this one is new, so there's no scratches on the display yet. If you want a chance to win, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment your favorite feature of the Apple Watch, along with your Instagram username, and then follow me on Instagram, where I will announce the winner on December the 25th. Okay, so to start, we have the plastic clear case with TPU screen protector. Now, it comes with two in the box, uh, which I always like to see, and it's made of this flexible, soft material, which will provide 360 degree protection, and I also think this particular material uh, will help with some impact absorption if, say, you ever uh, bang your watch against the corner of a wall whilst walking. But after using it, I can tell you that this particular option uh, of the five that we're going to be looking at today scores at the bottom of my list, and there's several reasons why. It covers the Apple Watch design in a way that just makes the watch look cheap. It is also quite difficult to put on, and there's a noticeable gap between the watch's display and the case, and this is something you can feel when you're using the watch. The case is also uh, not very clear, so this does affect the color reproduction as well as the clarity of your Apple Watch's display. Everything just looks a bit hazy. There's also this dot pattern on the inside, and this doesn't help things either. But my biggest complaint is how this case impacts the touch sensitivity of the display. To give you an example, I can literally uh, tap on the display and it won't register a click. I really have to apply a little bit of pressure to get my tap to work, and this on its own is already a deal breaker for me. Now, I will be testing the durability of each of these screen protection options. Uh, I thought to do this, I would use a set of keys as I think this is a reasonable object uh, that your watch may come into contact with. Now, being made out of plastic, uh, this particular option could easily be scratched by my keys uh, with deeper grooves when I apply more pressure. Uh, but thankfully, the case was just as hard to take off as it was to put on. Okay, so we're not off to a great start, uh, but this next option though looks more promising. So the second option is the bumper with glass screen protector, and is essentially a hybrid between a case and a glass screen protector. It also comes with two included in the box and easily snaps onto the sides of your watch. Now the uh, glass on this option is clear and thus won't affect the clarity uh, or the color reproduction of your Apple Watch. To apply it, simply remove the film. Now this doesn't use adhesion, uh, but I think the film is there just to keep out dust, uh, and from there it will firmly snap on the watch. Right away, uh, I like the very narrow and uh, low-key design of this case and screen protector, uh, and the uh, glass of the screen protector also aligns perfectly with the display of your Apple Watch. The side button is covered and accessible, uh, where the digital crown can still be used but is slightly recessed, so it will be a little bit harder uh, if, say, you are wearing gloves. But importantly, this case has no impact on the touch sensitivity. Now, looking very closely, uh, this case, for some reason, too, has this dot pattern, uh, but it's much more subtle compared to on the first option, where you really can't notice it during regular day-to-day -day use. On the wrist, I would say this option uh, looks quite good, too. Can you tell that I have a case on my watch? Yes, uh, but it is relatively low profile, and then the matte black on the sides uh, creates for a pretty low-key design that I think looks pretty good. And then when it comes to durability, this case delivers too. My keys did not manage to scratch the display, uh, even with me practically stabbing it with my keys. This is overall quite impressive. I also like that this option uh, is very easy to take on and off and won't require you to remove the watch bands unlike the first one. Overall, I gotta say, I quite like this option. 
Number three is the Tempered Glass Screen Protector. Now, this one seems to have the best of both, where it's a screen protector without the case, meaning it doesn't cover the watch's design. Now, I went in with hope, uh, thinking that this would be the one, but unfortunately, my disappointment was just immeasurable. First, this option uh, is quite difficult to apply, and this is crucial because since this uh, does have curved edges, to make good contact with the Apple Watch's display, you're gonna wanna make sure that it's perfectly aligned. On my first try, I had some bubbles uh, which could not be squeezed out, so I then tried lifting one of the corners to uh, gently remove the bubbles, and this somewhat worked, but then also left a permanent mark on the screen. Needless to say, I removed it and tried again. Good thing there's three in the box, as chances are uh, you're gonna need them all. My second attempt was a bit better, but as you can see, still not perfect. Difficult uh, application process aside, once it is on, it does look quite good. I do like how minimalistic uh, the screen protector is, and once it's on, it's quite difficult to tell that it's even there. Like with the last case, uh, this screen protector has practically no impact on the touch sensitivity and is also clear. Now, when it came to uh, durability, this was quite interesting as this screen protector is advertised to be glass, so I naturally expected it to hold up uh, similarly to the glass screen protector uh, with case that we looked at previously. But unfortunately, uh, this was not the case, no pun intended. My keys could easily scratch the screen protector and even dug out shavings of the so-called glass. It even bends like plastic and doesn't crack like you'd expect. To me, this doesn't come across as being made of glass. At the very least, uh, it certainly doesn't provide the durability that you'd expect from real glass. All that aside, I still like the minimalist form, not obstructing the Apple Watch's design, and it also adheres well to the watch, so I wouldn't expect this to uh, wear off or fall off over time. But again, it doesn't provide much in the way of durability, and the application process remains to be difficult, even with three in the box. But perhaps the fourth option will be better. This is a TPU plastic screen protector. We're going back to basics uh, with a simple sticker style screen protector. Now this particular model uh, comes with six in the box and the installation is mostly straightforward, uh, though it does come with more steps than usual. Not two, three, but four pull tabs to apply. Once it's on, uh, it aligns well, and like the previous one, has a very minimalistic design that is hard to tell it's even there. But unlike the previous one, uh, this one left no unwanted bubbles or marks on the watch display. Touch sensitivity too here is mostly unaffected, and the display retains clarity and color accuracy. But when using the watch, you do feel the difference uh, between the glass of the Apple Watch and that of the plastic screen protector. Uh, don't know how best to describe this, but the glass just feels a little smoother to use, where the plastic of the screen protector is a little more sticky and it's just not as pleasant to swipe or scroll on. Being made of plastic, this screen protector was easy to scratch, easiest of them all actually. Still, rather have a scratch on the screen protector than on the watch's display. This is a simple option, uh, but it works well and still adds a layer of protection to your Apple Watch. Uh, it's affordable, comes with six in the box. Honestly, it's hard to complain. Now, I was really quite excited to check out this fifth option. This is a PET flexible screen protector. Now, the previous uh, so-called glass screen protector that we looked at, the third option, was a bit disappointing. So I hope this PET flexible screen protector uh, will save the day. Now, this is not made of glass and also doesn't claim to be, but has a similar minimalistic design. Installation was easy thanks to the included uh, frame as well as the accompanying video. And once it's on, it looks almost perfect and aligned very well. I just have one tiny mark, uh, but I expect this more to be due to user error. So thankfully there are two included in the box. This one here too uh, is very minimal, and when you touch it, uh, it definitely feels better than the plastic of the previous screen protector, feeling much more akin to the glass that's on the Apple Watch. Touch sensitivity, uh, clarity, and colors are also not affected. So far, so good. In terms of durability, uh, it fared similarly to the third option, easily getting scratches from my keys, but it did stick onto the watch very well. In fact, better than any of the other options, so this one likely won't peel uh, or fall off over time. It is the most expensive option of all the ones we looked at today, uh, but for that price, you do get a very straightforward uh, and stress-free application process that I think for some will be worth it. Plus, once it's on, uh, it does look quite good and provides a pretty nice finished product. 
Okay, so after testing all five screen protectors, what is the verdict? First, I would uh, not suggest buying the transparent case style screen protector. It scratches easily, worsens the display's touch sensitivity, and it just doesn't do justice to the design of your Apple Watch. I would also not go for the uh, third option, which is the so-called glass screen protector. It was difficult to install and very easily showed marks and damage when trying to remove bubbles. So then this brings us uh, to the remaining three options. And these are the options that I can actually recommend you try. And the first of which is the hybrid glass screen protector and case. Now, overall, I would actually say this is the best option out there, especially in terms of durability. Not getting a single scratch from my keys, the glass is also clear and feels good to the touch. Yes, it's not the most minimalistic design, uh, but it is still low profile. And then also uh, the fourth option, which is the simple sticker style screen protector. I like this one more than I thought. It comes with many in the box and the application process is reasonably easy. Uh, and once it is on, you barely notice it. Yes, it doesn't feel as nice as some of the other options and does scratch easily, but it is cheap and still offers a layer of protection. And then finally, uh, there is the fifth option, and this is the PET screen protector. Now, this one is a bit more expensive, uh, but is really a good version of the third option that we looked at. It is easy to apply with the included frame, uh, which will also mean it aligns perfectly. It feels good to the touch. If you want something that is easy and will just work, this is the one to get. Okay, so that gives you a look at the five main screen protector options for your Apple Watch, uh, whether it be the SE, SE2, Series 7, or 8, and my thoughts on them. So at the end of the day, uh, which one do I use? Well, I think for day-to-day -day usage, I'm gonna go with the PET screen protector for its easy application and generally good feel. However, for days of travel, uh, I will hold on to the hybrid case with glass screen protector for that extra durability. But which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments and let's have a chat. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, as always guys, I will leave all the purchase links down in the description. And if you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend watching my iPhone 14 uh, screen protector comparison, similar to this video where I compare the main times and find out which is worth buying. I've also done a full Apple Watch SE2 guide to help you get the most out of your Apple Watch. I'll leave those videos linked at the end. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.